I was thinking how rich Allentown, Pennsylvania, how much of a rich wrestling history that that's in that town. Were you able to see any of the WWF stuff or the WWE stuff that would come through Allentown? Because I know that's where they did a lot of their TVs. Obviously, the, the Jimmy Snuka incident, I think, was yeah. in Allentown. There's a lot of connection to that city. Yeah, and the Eddie Gilbert car crash was right on uh, Route 22, coming through Allentown, just outside of it. Way to bring um, it down. Yeah, and, had but he, he had a great comeback. And then when he came back in Allentown, they misannounced him as Billy Gilbert, which is really funny. And you should check that clip out if you haven't oh, seen it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, man. One time, I was when I was still with the Bastards, we were playing our hometown, or San Francisco, playing at the Maritime Hall. There I saw it was... Uh, Lance Ferguson and the Bastards in the newspaper. I was like, okay, humility, here we come. Yeah, I pulled one of those at Supercard. I misannounced Denise Salcedo. I threw it to Denise Descalzo, but it's <laughs> Denise Salcedo. So <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. I apologize profusely and then reached out. The Allentown piece, I just missed the TV tapings, but from 1991 on, my parents took me, dad hated wrestling. Why are you into this? Why are you into this? It's funny because it led to, man, he, I love my dad and he's, love my mom. They're great parents. They really set me up, you know, gave me a good, real good shot. But so, but he used to take me to the Allentown Fairgrounds and they used to tape at Ag Hall, which is still there. They do these weird kind of garage sales. They just had like an animatronic dinosaur exhibit that was really cool uh, that we took the kids to. So it's still there. You can still see it. You can see where Sergeant Slaughter drove his camouflage limousine through the, the back door. Uh, oh my God. Looks identical. The concession stand still has what looks like the same pictures from 1978, you know, with the <laughs> French fries and the hot dogs. And they would do every summer, they'd do a big show out in the fairgrounds in the outdoor area. And that's where Andre would, you know, he'd always win the battle royal there. Bob Backlund would always defend the belt. Later, I saw the, the Mountie and Big Boss Man in the steel cage. Whoa, that yeah, must have been yeah. a winner. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a good one. And, uh, you know, and then they moved him from Allentown to Bethlehem, which is not far in their sister cities. And those went to Stabler. So they started doing TV occasionally there about two or three times a year. We're talking 93 to 99. And then WCW started to come. And then ECW started to, to come up to Allentown in 97. So I saw it all as a kid, my mom really knew that that was my thing. You know, each, each kid kind of has a thing and she could tell that wrestling meant a lot to me. My dad would usually find a way to work that night or something to get out of it. And my mom would take me to wrestling most of, mostly so she could see like Rick Rude or Edge, you know, those are her favorites. <laughs> so she didn't mind it at all. Cause she was seeing, she was seeing the rip guys in the spandex. So <laughs> that's fair.